Hey everybody, my name is Kitabon. Welcome back for another video of Lake. We're gonna continue this series, boys. I love playing this game for you uh, guys. So let's go ahead and continue right away. Uh, first thing we gotta do, we got a lot of places to go today. Lots of, um, I guess, mail to deliver and stuff like that. I cannot drive for the life of me. I swear I'm gonna keep uh, uh, skipping corners and stuff. So we're gonna go on the left right here as you can see I'm already seeing like the mail and stuff that's waiting for me Not even gonna listen to the radio that much because otherwise it would be a waste of time We got a lot of stuff to do today boys Lots of stuff I did uh, end up finishing uh, Mankind as you uh, probably uh, know or don't know yet It depends on how, how exactly it works out for my uh, schedule, my upload schedule But uh, I ended up ending up uh, I ended up switching off uh, Mankind for another game or for the brand new games that are coming up which is uh, Life is Strange and Tales of Arise so um, by now I don't think I would have uh, uploaded those videos yet but they're coming up boys so uh, I'm really excited to play these games for you as well we got another mail right here with lots of mail boys so we do have a package for the video store that we already know is the Main Street one, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, get the package really quick. I wonder if uh, Angie's still gonna be mad at me for not wanting to help her out or something. Not wanting to, I guess, help her out. Yeah, with the uh, the whole project and stuff. I I need to stop. I mean, there's these sort sort of agents from the the whole oh, place that's you. interrogating me and stuff. Kind of scary. So how was the movie night with uh, with Lori? How was the movie night with Lori? Oh, um, I, I ended up not going. Really? Well, maybe another time, right? Oh, well, maybe another time, right? Yeah, we'll see. So, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm good. Could be better. Were there something I wanted to talk about? No, I'm good. I'm good. That's great. We should talk about us. Do should we? Well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. When did I ever say I wanted to be uh, in love with her or something? The fuck does that mean? I think I'm starting to like you. I like you, but I think we should just be friends. Well, I like you. I'm gonna friend zone her or something, we boys. Just be friends. I see. I, ca I came on a little too strong. It's been known to happen. I I prefer to slow it down. I do like you, just not in that way. I think I'm starting to like you. Oh, uh, well, I, I do like you, but uh, not in that way. I do like you, just not in that way. Gotcha. Friends it is. So anyway, what's on your mind? A remote of uh, quiet contemplation, look a little distracted, uh, taking stock of store or your life, or of your life. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to say uh, you look a little distracted. A little distracted. <sighs> yeah, I, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? What do you mean? This is not what you wanted to do? I know that feeling. I know it all too well. You feel the way you feel that way about Providence? You feel that way about Providence Oaks? It's just that this whole flick shack adventure. I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. In the wrong place, maybe? May well, business is is that bad? Is business that bad? Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Well, she's just quitting on us. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Uh, you're welcome. Well, there it is. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Well, not yet. I think I have, actually. Yeah, I think I have. Well, whatever it is, hold that thought. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now... I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. 
my area. I'll swing by later. Angie's just quitting, I guess. Flick Shack is uh, closing doors. Losing a place, boys. That's interesting. I mean, what the hell, man? I, I just, some nice projects you got there and stuff. Just because I decide to... All of a sudden, like, I decide to not help her anymore and she starts quitting on me? You gotta be shitting me. Alright, there's Moles Diner, boys. Let's go ahead and get right here. I'm driving like a maniac. Holy... All right, there it is. Just like that. That's how you park pro uh, properly right here. You park perfectly. So 500 and Lake Road. Uh, let's go ahead and deliver. Once again, a package. It seems like every day we got a package to deliver. Unbelievable. Delivery for you. See, the box says Mrs. Evans. I remembered. <laughs> uh, might as well give it to you in, uh, now instead of at home. I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. What is it? It's nothing illegal, right? No, no, no. What is it? Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? A box of bunnies? Bunch of copies of ED game? Bunch of copies of the ET game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it. You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal, I'm not gonna say it's illegal. What would it be illegal? The suspense is killing me. Open it. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. Oh man, I a keyboard. So this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's fine if you like it. <laughs> you, you, you bought a keyboard, okay? I know you're doing that speeding up uh, thing again. I know you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. You're doing it again? You should try out programming. Ah, you're doing it again. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Listen, M, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Uh, pie? I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. I'm good. I'm happy to help. I'm just happy to help. Nah, I'm good. Happy to help. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Yeah, where's Maureen, though? I mean, I am talking, I've been talking to Kay for a while now, but where's Maureen? I guess she was just replacing or something. She's probably in the back. All right, so it's time for me to fast travel again. Now, this time around to South Crossroads. We're going to travel all the way back in the woods, uh, creepy woods right here. Let's do it. All right, here we are, boys. We're arriving. We're getting close. Here's the thing with this, though, is um, this is a really creepy place. Not gonna lie, we're in the middle of the woods, Won't, uh, wouldn't want to get there at night time, that's for sure. I don't even know where I'm going for the most part, it's like a bunch of different roads and stuff. Uh, you gotta really look at the uh, the street itself or uh, at the street name or the mini map and stuff. So This is literally the middle of nowhere, there's a cabin here, an abandoned cabin, you're gonna tell me somebody wants something delivered here, you gotta shitting me. It's got to be a prank or a joke or something. So 113 Raven Way. And what is in that? A chainsaw? Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Well, that's clearly a chainsaw, by the way. Uh, look, I'm just going to deliver this at your uh, at the place, all right? And, um, you, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to leave this here, okay? I'm not... Uh, nope, no answer. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna leave this here and quietly leave. All right, because this is creepy. A chainsaw, an abandoned cabin. You know, I've got other things to do, but uh, to wait for someone to listen to me right here. 
or to deliver to me okay or to talk to me so uh, now time for another fast travel we're going to the woods we're going to talk finally to uh, robert who wanted to meet with us well we're approaching the location boys and past the lumber yards a little bit right here he's in the middle of the woods himself uh working out or something i'm not sure so bear creek he wanted to talk to me he's somewhere around the region so not sure what he's doing exactly but that sounds uh, pretty scary pretty dangerous i don't know what you're doing my guy let's find out oh he's uh okay so he's mowing some trees hey robert that's really high is it cold up there is it cold up there what i can't hear you maybe you should come down maybe you should come down sorry i can't hear you maybe i should come down first <laughs> that's what i just said this guy what's he doing all the way up there though i guess he's doing his job and stuff cutting down you trees hi meredith uh loud and clear over Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Uh, I'd love to try that sometime. Yikes, I'm glad there, there's people uh, like you for that. Yikes, I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, okay, so what now? Oh, here, really? What a shame. Uh, what now? Ah, uh, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen to my wild card plan. Well, tell me about it. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. To do a tree, ver tree version of We Are the World or something? Uh, right, and then? Um, right, and then? We'll start jamming. Sometimes the hell are you talking about? Accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. When and where is it? I have a feeling you're not being serious with me right now. I have a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds Barn. A professional sound studio, huh? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm already made. Uh, I made all. I already made other plans. I'm sorry about that one. I don't have time for that one. I'm sorry, but I already made other plans. Bummer. Oh well. I guess I'll manage. Now, I gotta get back up in that tree. Bye, Meredith. Uh, goodbye. Uh, luck up there. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. Time to return to the post office. Yeah, I kind of invited me to the studio, but I'm not sure that's for me, boys. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel back to the city. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have time exactly for the, the whole studio thing. I, didn't ha I don't have time for anything, really. I got a job to do and stuff, you know. This is going to be Steve again. Meredith, I knew it. Oh, hi, Steve. I checked the contract. I didn't see any funny stuff. Looks like smooth sailing to me. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. All right, then. Guess I'm going to stay at home and watch the TV, then. There's nothing much to do else. Previously on Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit again. Okay, that show, man. That racist show towards French people. I like it. I already have a plan for everything. Well, as long as Jean Paul is not a part of it. Did someone call my name? Good morning, Miss Weiss. What does he want now? You, you're here to interrogate me again? Uh, good morning, Mr. Morning. Okay, good one. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Really? What a surprise. Anything else? Okay, sir. Anything else? The only thing you need to know right now 
knows that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Um, excuse me? Are you doing what now? Uh, have a nice day. All right, but where is Frank now? Okay. So do the envelopes go to you now? Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Miss Weiss, if that was not a poorly timed attempt at comedy, the best I can do is pretend you never said this. What? It's not comedy. I'm just stupid. What do you mean? It's not my fault I'm naive and stupid. I'm sorry, I sometimes just blur out bad jokes. The best I can do right now is pretend friend, uh, Frank will be okay. Well, I, I just blurt in ba uh, bad jokes. I'm I just sorry, saw that. Sometimes I just blurt out bad jokes. I've noticed that. Have a good day, Miss Weiss. Okay, well, looks like we got a new partner slash, uh, I don't know, boss or something. So, uh, new day, boys. New day, new boss. Frank just got arrested. Unbelievable. What do you know, right? So, uh, I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna deliver all the little mails for today. So, we've got a couple of mails going on. So, is this the, the one right here? It seems like it is. So, let's go ahead and get out of our car. We got uh, another mail, to, uh, a first mail to deliver for today, boys. Very interesting that um, Frank just got out just like that. Guess uh, I definitely was expecting that to happen. I mean, it was pretty clear to me. So, this is what it is, I guess. They're serious about this whole uh, suspension thing, uh, I, I guess. Uh, I, that's why I do not want to be in trouble. That's why I didn't want to help out NG too much because I didn't want to get myself in trouble. You know, what's, what happens if I get suspended? Uh, basically, I can't do the job anymore. What, what is my uh, father going to do? You know, nobody else is going to be able to do it. Well, first off, we do have that package to the general store. I already know we're going to get an interaction right here. So we might as well uh do that i think this definitely main street boys so uh it's gonna be pretty easy to find that one uh, 207 main street pretty That's much so let's go ahead and do that i already know that i'm gonna have to go to the farm because uh i saw the package uh, about it so let's just enter first and uh, deliver the package right here uh, my, uh nancy i got another package for you my girl are you here to help out with the camera Actually, no. Actually, no. Well, this store has a large selection, but it doesn't include small talk. Wait, what do you mean? I had the package for you. Did I deliver it? I think I did. Okay, so what's she mad about me for? I'm not gonna help you out with the uh, with the thing, man, uh, ma'am. All right, the, pa the photography. You can help yourself out with that. It's not my problem. My problem is my own right now. I got to deliver these packages. I just came there and delivered to her. She's still asking me for stuff like that. I mean, come on. All right, so uh, we got... Um, we actually uh, have to deliver mail right here. Is there literally mail that we got to deliver right here? That's interesting. Let me go ahead and see real quick. Is that to the flick shot that I got to deliver? Probably, right? What's this? Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. Okay, so it's just a message that she left. Okay. Uh, I got you, I guess. So I uh, got the message that she left and stuff like that. I wonder, do I just need to deliver packages or if what happens if I don't deliver mail? Do I actually have to deliver everything? Do I actually have to literally give people their their mail and stuff. What happens if I don't and I just do the packages? Is there something bad that's going to happen to me or I, I'm not sure exactly how it works, boys. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued now if I don't read those what happens, you know. So, uh, there's still the uh, post office. Uh, Weiss residence. So, uh, I have an actual uh, email myself. Okay. I got a, an actual thing. So, interesting. So, um, now we got two more packages. Actually, three packages and a mail. That sounds uh, fine by me, I guess. Let's, uh, let me go ahead and fast travel. I'm too lazy, boys. I'm just too lazy to ju do that type of uh, road right there. So... I'm going to travel towards my place, I guess. 
and uh, deliver at the same time the package uh, next door. So let's do that. But I gotta tell you, most diner does have a lot of uh, packages. It seems like literally every single day I gotta go there to deliver food or whatever it is that I'm delivering to them. It's quite interesting. I mean, they've got uh, how much literally mail do they need? Can they not mail it to their own house or something? What the hell? All right, so Reynolds Fault uh, Farm. Let's see, I got a package for you, my guy. I got a package for you. Is the radio going uh, all right and stuff? Or we're about to find out in a second. Maybe the harvest is not having as much uh, problems as last time. I'm not sure. Let's deliver uh, the package to him, though. Real quick, boys. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Farmer. Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer Jack. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you. Well, as opposed to Frank. As opposed to Frank? As opposed to me. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. But Frank's not twiddling his thumbs, I can tell you that. Spoke to him? Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Seems like you're getting to know him. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Is it well past harvesting season? Good luck with the weather. I hope it was uh, it will clear up. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Yeah, Jack's a great dude, man. He's a he's a really great dude. I like him. Really fantastic person. So we're gonna go ahead and travel to Mole's Diner, and I guess now we all have much else to do, right? It's the only place left that I gotta go at. I really wonder. I kind of want to test it out. Uh, next time, right? I want to test out wh whether or not if I deliver the mail It actually works out or not or if I just have to simply deliver the packages I want to test I kind of test it out, but at the same time I feel like It, it does you do have to deliver the mail as well. I'm pretty sure but uh, no matter uh, Nevertheless still got to go at Moe's diner. All right, here we are again my uh, boys Moe's diner back at it again I'm gonna know that address in no time at this point. I mean, I'm always, I'm always here. Feels like I'm working here for some reason. Literally every day. All right, Moe's Diner. I got another package for you. It seems like it's Maureen this time around that's gonna interact with me. Po people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, ash, darling, I want to hear this, and so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the tree. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess, but it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Brother set, uh, set it up himself at Jack's. I helped out when he was recorded, uh, recording at his Jack studio. Uh, he mentioned he was going to record it at Jack's. He mentioned he was going to record it at Jack's, but that's all I know. He mentioned that, huh? So. You and Robert are getting to know each other a bit, are you? I guess. No, Marie, don't. This is out of proportion. Well, I guess. I guess. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said... Uh, what did he, he say? To keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? Uh, no, he just asked me to help him with, uh, keep it pretty. That's not exactly how he put it, and neither should you. That's not exactly how he put it. And neither should you. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Nothing yet, I think. Nothing yet, I think. Well, I've got just the solution for you. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not, if you know what I mean. It'll be a hoot. 
Mark Lacanhoon and a half count me in. Nah, I feel uh, I feel a cold coming in. <laughs> uh, cough, cough. I feel like I I'm not really feeling that well for that. Oh, I feel a cold coming on. <laughs> I do hope you are not mocking my open mic night idea, Miss Wise, or my food. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. You're forcing me to go there? Uh, why do I have a feeling I don't have a choice here? Let's just say I will do my best. Yeah, let's just say I will do my best. Well, why do I have a feeling I don't have a choice here? Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. All right. Looks like Maureen is forcing me uh, to go to that open mic thing. What the hell, man? I know I don't like to go out with people. The hell? I don't like uh, parties. I don't like anything. I want to stay at home and chill. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. Nice. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> nice. Wish I could say the same. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. That never ends. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Um, me? I like to be inside? Uh, me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, but hear me out. Okay, and what about this job that I'm doing in the meantime? Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to be stuck here in this town forever because you decided to, like, go live somewhere else? The fuck is wrong with you? Have you not thought about me at all? That's kind of a bit stick, life-changing and all that. Awesome, I'm how about... Yeah, that's life-changing. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And... Put it on the market until we try out Florida for a few months. So, um, you want to extend your stay in Providence Cove? Are you serious right now? Uh, no thanks. I need to get back to my normal life. Yeah, I need to get back to my normal life. I got a job. I, got, I live in the city. You know, I don't have time to stay in here. Now you're forcing me to stay here. You know, if you weren't forcing me to stay in Providence Oath, I would have said, ah, maybe a couple more weeks. Why not? It seems like a fun place. The people are kind of weird. But you know what? I'm good. I think I'm just going to go back to the city. Now you're literally forcing me to do this. I'm not okay with that. Huh. No, thanks. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Yeah. Well, just thought I'd mention it. But it's a pretty big deal. Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. Hi, dear. I'm going to get her something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. That's right, the guitar music. We did say we were going to chill with uh, Mickey and June, right? We did say we were going to do that. That's the only people I decided to accept an offer of uh, chilling out with them. Because they actually seem like... Uh, interesting people now that's a fun time right there in the middle of the woods like camping and stuff that's the type of little place I would want to go you know no problem chilling out with them that sounds fine by me boys it's the other things like uh, getting in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of people like Maureen I don't care about that oh yeah awesome uh-huh 
It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I, I'll be right back, ladies. Nikki can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. That's why you're following him all the way to Canada, is it? And that's why you're following him all the way to Canada? It's also that he needs me. He would get into trouble without me. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Okay, Mikey, I've had worse delivering mail. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivering mail. Delivering mail for the man? I couldn't do that. The man? What man? The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. I'm starting to talk like an anarchist right here, boys. The hell? Sometimes I think a bit of authority uh, uh, is useful. Nah, I know what you mean. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! Nah, Fafa, I think I'll pass on that one, though. I might be a little bit more on the oopsie side, but I'm not doing jogs, that's for sure. No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? How about no thanks either? No thanks, June. I'm good. Oh, I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. Memories. 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 Here you go. This is life. So are you guys on the run or something? Uh, this this is pretty much life right there. This is as bare bones as it gets. I like it. Ah, this is the life. It sure is. It will be even better once we're finally in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy in Canada. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. You want to give me the RV? Can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. I don't know. Is it even yours to give away? Oh, thanks. Oh, one oversized vehicle is enough for me. You know what? That's awesome. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. I tell you, Mikey, your song is horrible. I do like you in general, though. No, uh, no chill about that one. September 11, Thursday. All right, well, we spent a long night listening to uh, Mikey's horrible song in the uh, on the fire camp, but it was a fun night nonetheless. Uh, I didn't drink, didn't smoke, and I still managed to have fun, boys. What do you know? That's how, that's how it should always be. Alright, so I'm going to leave it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one.
Keep it easy.